The Oregon men's basketball team started out hot in the Pac-10, sweeping the Washington schools on the road. But last Sunday, the Ducks had a complete breakdown against Oregon State in the last Civil War ever here at Mac Court, and their problems only got worse on Thursday as they were sunk by Arizona State 76-57. Everything we gained with those two great victories and, and poise and focus and momentum, we kind of threw it out of the window here over the last couple of ball games. So the biggest thing we just talked about with this basketball team is that we just got to get our grit back, get our poise and get our confidence back. Um, how and why we've lost it, I could not tell you. I can't even explain how, how upset I am right now at the way that we have performed back-to-back -back games at home. I, I even have to refer back to the Oregon State game because that game still bothers me, and, and this one hurt, just, makes, just compounds it. I think they forget how hard we battled. Uh, over at Washington State and really how hard we battled at Washington. We got guys out hustling for rebounds, looking at loose balls on the floor, not diving for. Uh, Botang jumped out of bounds, almost went into the, to the stands when the clock was running down to, to save a ball. I mean, <laughs> we're the team at home. <laughs> so, I mean, those are the plays we're supposed to be making. We knew how great of a three-point shooting team they were, but I mean, give up a layup or give up a three. We, we basically had to pick our poison, and it, it was both of them. We missed some easy shots uh, opening up, and they hit some big threes to open up. So it gave them great confidence, and I thought it took some confidence away from us because I thought the ball didn't start, didn't, didn't get any better from that point on. So we got in that hole at, against Oregon State and then didn't have to fight your way out of it and look at it again. You felt like you were in the exact same game again. It wasn't just the first five minutes of the game. It was the first five and the last 35. So it, it, it was, it, I don't know. I'm. I'm, I'm, just, I'm extremely upset right now, and I just, I'm, I'm embarrassed. It, it, it all comes back to defense. Our, our team feeds, we have to feed off our defense. Get stops, get open, get open, uh, easy transition buckets, and you'll be surprised what, as a, as a player, you'll be surprised what getting one layup will do for your shot. It's not with us right now, it's not about are you good enough, are you deep enough, are you big enough, it's swagger and it's confidence is what it is. I think it's time for everybody to, 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 to take a step back and critique themselves as individuals, so we can get it right as a whole. Um, everyone needs to be on the same page, and you don't, you don't lose by, what, 20 some odd points at home. Like, it, that, that is unacceptable, um, especially with the crowd that we have. They deserve better. Uh, it, it, the whole state deserves better. Oregon is now 2-2 two two in the Pac-10 and 10-6 overall. The Ducks host Arizona on Saturday at 1.30 Pacific, when Oregon will honor Admiral John Dick from Oregon's 1939 NCAA championship team and former Wildcat coach and basketball Hall of Famer Lute Olsen. In Eugene, I'm Michael Conowitz for Palestra.net, the College Network.